Hello, and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager Forestry. My name is Adam. I am the Community Manager. With me, as always, and pictured on your screen in the top right-hand corner is FHM producer Jeff. And that's the top right-hand, not the top left-hand, because that is SC Burns' logo, who we are playing as. Jeff. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, we are back to our Swiss League game, uh, playing as Baron. Uh, doing fairly well so far, although not so great in the Champions League. Uh, Second overall in the Swiss League, uh, five wins, one loss. Uh, the only team ahead of us is Davos, so we may have a pretty good shot at uh, repeating as uh, league champions. They were, I think, I think Burns actually a two-time defending champion uh, in the Champions League, and going not so good. Uh, we are, we need to be in the top two spots to advance, and right now we're number three, and we're only a single point behind Mountfield, the Czech team. Probably not going to catch Turku there in pretty good space, but we we definitely need a win in the uh, return game against them, and then uh, probably also need to beat Nottingham from the uh, English league as well. So it's going to be tough. Uh, that's and then this is the upcoming schedule. I actually got Davos in our next game tomorrow, uh, which should uh, decide first place for now in the Swiss league, and then the Nottingham game, and then the big game will be in about two weeks time against Mountfield. So let's get rolling with this. We've got a fairly intact roster right now. We just got uh, one of our wingers back, Dario Meyer. I can move him to the active roster. He's off the injured list. And I think we will be sending Gerber, the right wing, back down. Okay, Jeff, I got a question for you. Good. I can't help but notice you have the SE Burn logo and all the logos for the National League. How did you get that? That is, uh, did I do this one using Steam Workshop or not? That's a mod. Uh, someone's made the, done all the uh, National, done all the, uh, a lot of the uh, logos we don't have in the game. I think it's, yeah, that is, that one is on the uh, uh, yes, Steam is. Workshop as well. I think there's a link to it on our, uh, on the mod section of our uh, forum as well. Yes, and it's very nicely done. Yeah, and nice uh, same thing with the uh, uniforms as well. You can see if I open a player up, got the uh, <coughs> black uniform as well. Okay, so let's move along to here. Gonna have to juggle the lines a little bit, I think. Okay, for those of you who are not familiar, and uh, this may be your first time playing in a European league, uh, you'll notice that on the bottom of the roster screen, although Jeff's past that right now, but when he goes to the roster screen, okay. you have the option and see people are listed as an F. For instance, uh, Mason Raymond is an F. You might also notice that he has a Canadian flag as his nationality versus most of our team has the Swiss flag. F, of course, means foreigner, and there is a foreigner limit in the Nas National League. Yeah, it's actually set to three now in the game, although um, I think that'll be fixed, and yeah, that should be fixed in the next update. It's it actually should be four, so that'll be changing for now, but for now, we're uh, playing with the three pl <coughs> three imports, and we're keeping a couple of them uh, on loan to our uh, the farm team in the lower division, uh, so it's Mason, Raymond, Andrew Abbott, and Mark Arcabello is our foreigners right now, and you'll see a few of these other guys will have uh, another country's flag, but Kruger in this case is, he's actually got three nationalities as well, Swiss and Canadian in addition to German. That's uh, Ralph Kruger's son, incidentally, uh, and uh, the, so he doesn't count as a foreigner, so we're only, he doesn't get the uh, left flag, he doesn't count against our limits, and I think we are up to the game against... Davos, uh, let's play this one out because it should be a fairly good game between the top two teams in the league. Yeah, I do have sound turned off in this one as it can be a little bit uh, too loud for the uh, stream. What? Yeah, lots of fun screaming over that. Uh, and Davos opens it up with... Uh, Cool. And you can see, you'll notice on the play-by-play, uh, -play, sometimes you're seeing a series of number codes ahead of the uh, 
uh, summary when well, we'll see it when we get another goal. But uh, that, that'll be some of the news you see as well. I'm just playing this in uh, testing mode right now, so you won't normally see that in the game if you haven't played it before. But uh, I've just got a few of the uh, little a uh, few debugging and uh, debugging things active to uh, help with uh, when I'm testing a new build. And we are currently working on the next update for the game. It's probably going to be out a little closer to Christmas. We're taking a little more time in between uh, the updates now with this one, since we've got uh, most of the big bugs out of the way. And we're still tied 2-2 at the end of the second here. Might be able to get something out of this one. Oh, well, my sim, my sim version, uh, whew, it was quite a destroy. We won 8-3, to three, so... And in this one, we were losing, or no, we're losing now, and there we go, down 3-1 to one now. So not quite as good and not looking good for the end of the game, but let's switch up the strategy here, see if we can open up the tempo, take a lot more risks. Oh, and I got, looks like they got one just as I was changing that, so it's 4 nothings or 4-1. So the changes probably aren't going to help a whole lot at this point, and we are going to be stuck in second place for a little while because uh, they are con they continue to be undefeated. We'll get them eventually. I don't think it was a particularly bad game for any of our guys. Uh, one or two guys just under 50 game rating, but for the most part we played decently. Uh, Gave up a lot of shots and didn't get the bounces in that one. So we will go ahead a little bit here. And uh, well, we've got the uh, first Champions League game coming up. That's kind of do or die. If we blow that one against Nottingham, we're pretty much done. Uh, Gudu Creative in the chat says, I take <laughs> it in the burn logo. The bear has just eaten a hockey stick from the opposition and it is finished or sorry eating a hockey player from the opposition and it is finishing off his hockey stick or something like that uh i don't think that's actually the intent it's the... i think it's more just supposed to be his tongue oh, i never, I never noticed that that is actually a stick isn't it? <laughs> oh no it definitely is it's it's a great logo it's very hidden uh, just just there so slightly you don't... horrific but well, all, all good logos have some great designs, like uh, the Hartford Whalers logo. And a f fun fact about uh, two years ago, uh, you know the Minnesota Wild logo? Yep. Uh, I told my friend, and he did not know this until, again, like two years ago, so 15 years after the team had been in the league, that it's the head of an animal. Yeah, it's like a bear head, isn't it? I, I take it more as kind of like a cougarish type animal. Mountain, lion, something like that. Could be a bear head. I'm not really sure what it is, but he never noticed that before. And just going to quickly sim through our next game here against Zug, uh, which is a 3-2 to two overtime win for us. Ooh. It's just funny what your eyes see yeah. and what you miss. Had to back up in for that one. I think the next one we in our next game up is Nottingham. So Nottingham means it is the Champions League, correct? Yep. I think I'm not 100%. I think it's the next one. Either that or the one after it. Okay, Jeff. I, I'm going to ask you a question because I don't know... Um, this off the top of my head and again if it's up for some of our near viewers you also know we put tons of international tournaments into the game so i also know that there happens to be a fairly big tournament just after christmas involving a couple of the teams here is that tournament in the game the spangler cup you mean yes no we can't do that one right now because they mix uh, national teams or sort of pseudo national teams with the canadian uh team and uh, club team so we can't do that right now hoping okay. to figure out a way around that uh, at some point okay. yeah we got Nottingham next but we've got a couple of days off until then uh, everybody seems to be in relatively good shape 
The league standings are... Yeah, we're just hanging on to second place. Davos is way out in front. All right, Jeff. Uh, Gudu's still talking about uh, the Burn logo. So I have a question for you. Yep. All-time favorite hockey logo. I think we might have talked about this before, but I'm still curious. Uh, I can't say the uh, Canucks skate one. <laughs> no. Did you see a little while ago they had somebody at... Uh, Versace or someone had uh, put out some sort of uh, t-shirt or something with was like an obvious ripoff of the skate logo. <laughs> yes, I think I saw that. Yeah. Why well, of all oh, things? Yeah, you... yeah, yeah, definitely saw that. Yeah, it was just someone's like. I mean, this so, is so technically it's high fashion. I mean, <laughs> gotta respect it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I am still partial to the Minnesota Fighting Sand. That's a great logo. Mm, the little guy with the uh, halo, that one? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, we're just docked over first. It takes a second to get through this at the uh, start of the month and should be through it now and just auto save going off. So we've got some email, and then the game tomorrow against Nottingham, which we really need to win, although they haven't been doing too well, so it shouldn't be that tough. Uh, board confidence update. Well, season's a great success so far, and he's very happy with us, so we're not going to get fired anytime soon. Unlike maybe one of our other games. Yeah, you've got the uh, Panthers. Uh, what year are you in now on that one? We are headed into 2019, 2019, the draft of 2019. Yeah. I had to stop and think about it for a minute. And we're going to trade away all of our picks to take like three guys in the first draft. <laughs> we are loading up. Because you need to or you're getting fired soon. Okay, and here we are to the uh, game day against uh, Nottingham. I think we're okay with everything. Uh, stuck with the one star rating guy there. Yeah. The lines look good, so. So we've got a pretty solid tactical advantage over them, too, so nothing to worry about there. And I'm going to leave the global tactics alone. We're not going to get too aggressive with that unless we happen to get down a goal. And sure enough, 41 seconds in, we score on the first shot of the game and the second shot as well, apparently. So 2 nothing right off the bat, so... Awesome. Hopefully not too much to worry about at this point. Because teams never blow 2 nothing leads, right? <laughs> no. I was just telling Adam no. before we started, I was uh, watching the uh, Canucks game on the weekend uh, against the Rangers. They're up 2 nothing. I go to take a break to come in here and uh, check my email and whatnot for a few minutes, come back, and it's somehow 3-3. Three to three. So Vancouver starting, starting to head in the direction I kind of expected them to head this season. At 2-1 uh, to one halfway through the game, we're oh, it's about to be 3-1 for the Canucks. Excellent. And we're pretty much dominating them at this point. Uh, Mike Garnett and goal for the Ducks, former, uh, or the Panthers, former Anaheim Duck. I was going to say, did you call us the Canucks? Did I hear that? No, I was saying the Canucks were... Uh... No, no, I know. I thought... I kind of thought you called us... I thought you said the Canucks are dominating. Mm. I mean, half this team is ex-Vancouver Canucks. But... Yeah, well, we got two of them. We're up to 50 shots, by the way, with uh, five minutes left in the game, and then it's 4-1 for us, so... Rolled over Nottingham here. 
59 shot final. So I think we have to be happy with that. Absolutely. And fairly well distributed uh, effort here. Looks like the first line had a lot of shots. Arcabello had three points. So what does that just advance a day here and then see what that does to our Champions League standings. We want to see what happened in the other game too. Ideally uh, Mountfield would have lost to Turku because we're not going to catch Turku and we want uh, Mountfield to stay within reach. The schedule tends to concentrate the games uh, like a couple of games in the two to three day space so you wind up with slightly larger gaps between the games uh, nothing new defects us still sitting in second in the Swiss League and the Champions League what happened here yeah, it looks like Turku won that one. So technically we are ahead of Mountfield by one point in the Champions League Group 6. So as long as we, you know, we know we can't have a tie, so we still need to uh, beat them uh, by some method in the... Uh, I don't think there's any... I think it's... Yeah, it's only... It's, it's still two points for an overtime win, so I think they... Uh, Regardless of how they beat us, if they beat us, they'll get ahead of us, uh, so we have to win somehow there. It looks like we've got a uh, game today against Clotten, and then Freiburg the next day, and then the middle of the week is the uh, final first round game against Mountfield. So let's just swim, sim these two uh, Swiss League games quickly. And we win again in overtime, two to one. Just as we expected. Hopefully the goalie is heating up a little bit. I've got a solid goalie that would really help in that. Uh, yeah, good game for him, 82 game rating. And see if we can win the second of the back-to-back -back tomorrow. two to one this time. So we may be sliding a little bit back in the league standings, I think. Oh, looks like uh, Zurich won and lost as well, so we're actually doing okay there. And the next game up, three days from now against Mountfield, I think the roster is completely healthy. Yeah, that's good, and we should be getting, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we've still got uh, Luca Hischer, uh, Nico's little brother out, uh, who's nowhere near as good as him. But uh, would be a little bit of center depth for another month or two uh, with a sore knee. Now, Nico, Nico played for them last year, didn't he? Yep, he did. Uh, 
They've had quite a few good players come through. Uh, Danny Heatley was there for a while uh, during the, I think that was the strike year. And uh, Guy Boucher was coaching him a couple of years ago before he went back to Ottawa. Right. So they have some players, or have had some players. And yeah, and uh, usually quite a few guys from the Swiss national team are uh, playing for them. So historically, definitely one of the better teams. I mean, yeah, they're the two-time defending champions. Yes. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, right? They were doing pretty well, and then they fired Guy Boucher because he wouldn't sign the contract extension. Uh, don't remember that. I mean, not like Boucher didn't do badly for himself. I, well, I know, but it was really... because he wa he wanted to come back to North America. Yeah, wouldn't really make sense for him to do that. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we slipped down to fourth place in the league now after losing those couple of games. So we need to get caught up on that. But uh, today is the big game. Uh, <clears throat> And let's see, 46 and 61 for the tactics against... Uh, all right, I'm going to have to change a few roles here to see if I can uh, drag their score down a little bit. Change it? Oh, change a few roles, okay. Yeah, just adjusting uh, to get some... countering roles uh, in there. I, <laughs> I finally heard change a few roles. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't uh, change the rules of the game. <laughs> they get two guys on the ice, and we get five. Although, that would be kind of entertaining to watch Troll. But as well as I can do that, uh, let's try and stay close to him and hopefully we can get a win here. All right, Jeff, I got a question for you. See if yep. you can. Okay, okay I'll, I'll tell and you. And Yaroslav Bednar unfortunately makes it 1 0 right out of the gate, so not a good start, although we're starting to pick it up. Go ahead. Okay, so today in hockey history, 1995 to be precise, Grant here. Uh, became the 11th NHL goalie to have wins. What team was he with when he So I bet you, you cut out there, you 11th NHL goalie to do what? 300 games. Ah, okay. So what team was he with? Was he, he with up his the Leafs minutes? at that point? He was not. Blues? You are correct, sir. There we go. No, it was one of them. He bounced around so much. Yeah, after leaving Edmonton, and then 2 nothing at the end of the second, so... This is not looking good for our Champions League hopes. I'm going to have to open up things a bit more. What? Look at their goalie. Uh, nice. Doesn't have any particular weak spot, so I can't exploit anything on the goalie's side. And yeah, we're doing all our work except the power play. On our offense. Now oh, cross your fingers that we can get a couple of back and then a couple of back and a third. Otherwise, that is the end of the Champions League for this season. And they wind up making it 3 nothing. so 
Yeah. I gotta really uh, turn her up. Take a bunch of chances. Um, you know Please don't get shut out here, come on. Oh, don't say that. Well, because it's Our chat is being uh, awfully quiet. Yeah. See, Nobody has any questions. And final I, three nothing I, I, for I, I, Mountfield, I, I, and I, I, that is the end of that for us. So, so much for our first season's uh, Champions League attempt. Oopsies. So we will focus on. Uh, defending that Swiss League title at this point, although at least we have the advantage now that we're not uh, playing all those extra games that I will uh, check in a second and see who wound up advancing out of that first round. Hopefully a few of the other Swiss League teams did. And they'll be playing yeah. a few extra games and, you know, getting a little tired and... Uh, Ratcass in the chat says uh, we need to rename it now to Feel the Bird. Didn't uh, Bernie Sanders copyright that? <laughs> I don't know. So, Champions League. You can see, yeah, we finished him on up third, so we are not going anywhere. And who did advance? Uh, advance from Strika, the Slovak team, I believe. Uh, Tampir, Finland, Malmo. Yeah, mostly Swedish. And uh, looks like Zug from the Swiss League did go up. Uh, who are the other Swiss teams playing? Davos also advanced. Uh, oh, that's not a surprise. Davos is usually a power. Was... Yeah. And so uh, it looks like actually we were literally the only Swiss team not to advance. So, well done there. <laughs> that hurts. But that just means we'll have to win the National League. Yeah, so right. we will have a little bit of advantage at least. Uh, those other guys are going to wear themselves out. Uh, Ratcast asking if you can play in the ECHL. Uh, yep, ECHL is definitely playable. So back to uh, our regular. Oh, Swiss did League you games see uh, Zurich right away? Uh, the new main team in the ECHL for next year got their new logo. Oh, did they announce it already? Yeah. Um, There's going to be a whole shuffling that. around of ECHL and uh, AHL teams AHL. next year to fix that uh, situation where St. Louis and uh, Vegas are sharing a team. So Vegas will have Chicago to themselves next year and. I uh, can't remember yeah, so the whole sequence of it. Colorado, yeah, they, 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 St. Louis gets San Antonio, I think, and Colorado moves up from the, Colorado's ECHL team moves up to the AHL, and they'll be the Avalanche's uh, main uh, uh, affiliate. Well, that, that doesn't show the logo at all. I am sorry if I just linked in the chat. Yeah, so Portland, Maine gets a new team, and I assumed, to, I assumed it, it's a, uh, M fancy M with uh, Trident coming out, going running uh, from west to east. No, no wait, wait! I want to hear about these zombie butterflies you flicked us to. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I, I don't Where did that come from? <laughs> I told I. It was one of the. If you read it, if you click on the link and read it, actually the top part is. <laughs> Okay, I believe Actually, you. it's not. I don't even know. I don't understand anything. <laughs> oh, if you scroll, uh, Still, I would like some sort of summary of the zombie butterfly situation. That seems concerning. <laughs> I'm going to click on the link. I swear, the link above on the same website is unveiled. New and so it's a trident, so it forms M-E. Uh just about every year, hundreds of butterflies are affected with this phenomenon, it says. <laughs> and there's nothing else. I don't know. 
and somebody, the story underneath it is somebody spent uh, $2,000 on a Nintendo collection. Okay, so we split the weekend series of games here, and we're still only at least one point back, and with a game in hand of uh, Zurich and the for second in the league, uh, probably should. All right. Actually, I'm going to hold yeah. off on renewal till after Christmas, cause, but there's a few guys we're going to want to talk to. Uh, Raymond is probably making way too much money right now, so and that's one of the interesting things when we get around to the off season. We'll be. Uh, Deciding what to do with our imports. So I have reposted a link to the Wikipedia page, which shows their new logo. They just Actually, the way you're describing it sounds kind of like the old, uh, like the main Mariners in the AHL, uh, were the Flyers affiliate in the 80s. Uh, let me see. The main Mariners? Is that what you said? Yep. Well, this is the new ECHL team. Let's see. Yeah. But if you look at the old one, that's... Does the old logo, does it look like the old it's logo? Like, no. no the old logo, according to Wikipedia, looks like um, a ship, uh, M with a ship wheel in the middle. That may not be the one I'm remembering. I remember one that looks sort of like the Whalers WHA logo. Okay, interesting. Main Mariners AHL. Okay, so this week is oh, just one game this week. I guess we're getting caught up in that uh, game in hand on the schedule against Ambre Piotta. Piotta. Uh, Jeff, quick Google search shows nothing but and the logo that I described. Another 3-2 win for us. Okay, so well, maybe I'm imagining things. Could have sworn they had one that was like a like the like an M with a uh, <laughs> yeah. harpoon through it. Good creative in the chat says zombie mariners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like the Seattle baseball team logo a bit. It does, yeah. I, I like it. Uh, Daniel Briere is one of the top guys in the, for this new ECHL team. He's doing what? He's uh, team's governor. No. Paul Holgram will be the team's governor. Danny Briere is day to day ops. Oh, sounds like a good, decent management then. That's... Yeah. Well, it's um, it's going to be affiliate with Philly, isn't it? I think uh, general manager is Beer. Yeah, and um, looks like Andrew Abbott uh, has a bruise next, so we may be without him for. Uh, well, it's three days. From, oh no, it's actually today. So he is out. We're going to have to juggle the lineup a little bit, and that's an import. So. Okay. June I can bring one of my other imports up uh, and forward, so I'm going to bring in uh, Miko Pierala, the Finnish guy. And if it is out, Pierala is in. Okay, now I did not know this. So, Comcast Spec. Spectacor, who owns uh, the Cross Insurance Arena, which is the arena in Portland, and the Flyers bought the franchise rights to the Alaska Aces, who had went dormant, and that's how they got the team. Okay. Oh, so I got a. That'll be a continuation of the old Alaska team. That's gonna screw kind everything of, yeah. up a little bit up for us. I'm gonna have to. As we're working right now on trying to get the uh, to hard code that in, so at the end of the first season in FHM four, you'll get all that shuffling around, and there won't be the problem where St. Louis only has an EHL team, ECHL team, like it does right now. And a four-one win against Geneva puts us into second place, a little more salty, and it looks looks like uh, Davos has finally cooled down a bit. They've lost a few games. They were probably, what, one or two and three in the last few, and uh, we're only two points behind them. So we may run them down. CSI, we've got three another one, three injury. Showing up in the chip. I... And Samal Ignite shows up, says go wings. Which doesn't even make sense for the stream. <laughs> and CS High says, you know what, he likes the SC Burn logo as well. 
Uh, I think logos are available in both places. I can't. They're definitely on the uh, Steam Workshop, but I think there's a link to them somewhere in the forums as well. Let me just take a quick peek. I'm I'm 95% sure there will be up. Yep, Swiss and L League. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a few naming issues with uh, some of them where the logos aren't showing up correctly, but uh, for the most part, we get most of the logos. And now Ratgas taking a shot at your jets. <laughs> Ratcast, I'm going to ban you from the chat. <laughs> nah, nah, no banning people just because they have realistic opinions about your team. <laughs> that they will move to the ECHL? <laughs> Come on. Heck, even, even the AHL team is destroying teams right now. The Moose, they are, they are really good. They were. Uh, a, do you, are you familiar with the athletic at all? Sorry, what was that? Are you familiar with the athletic? What athletic? Um, like the website. Oh no. So, uh, for those of you in the chat not familiar with the athletic, is um, it's a website that started late last year. Uh, early this year and it's um, dedicated all to sports they ask you to pay for their content uh, you can, they just had a sale on it uh, I got it just subscribed myself I got it for two dollars and fifty cents a month plus a t-shirt for the for the first year so you know pretty decent little deal and, and lots of guys are writing for them now like Pierre Lebrun uh, Michael Russo, who used to write for the Wild for the Star Star Trek. Oh, that oh, okay, was, yeah, no, I know what you're talking um, about now. Yeah, Justin Bourne, uh, just lots of different people. Um, it, it's really good stuff. But uh, there was an NHL story um, that somebody had, and I'm just trying to go back and see if I can quickly find it on my phone. Uh, yes, here we go. So Chris. Or sorry, Corey Pronman uh, went back and uh, looked at the 2015 draft already and said kind of what's uh, going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had Edmonton ranked as number one because they drafted Connor McDavid. So that pretty much, you know, Obviously, gives him a yeah. pass on everything else. I mean, they still had a pretty decent draft otherwise. Buffalo had got an A as well. They got some guys coming up. Do I want to know got, where Vancouver is? <laughs> I don't know. We can get there. But Philadelphia had an A. Winnipeg had an A. And I mean, the Moose are doing well, but this is part of the reason why. This is the, their draft pack, draft pick where they got Kyle Connor. They drafted Jack Rosovic. They have Michael Spachek, Eric Foley, Jansen Harkins coming. Uh, they signed uh, and guy who's to currently third in the a or third in rookie points in the AHL right now with like 22 Mason Appleton was a sixth round pick. Uh, they drafted seventh round defenseman Sammy Niku who's actually playing significantly well for the Moose as well. He came over. So lots of good things there. Now to find Vancouver on this list. And we just Vancouver won again 3-2 given... against Lugano. Uh, that should get us. Oh, looks like uh, Davos started winning again too though so we're Vancouver was given an A minus, Jeff. An A minus, better than I expected, actually. Unless they're the being Canucks really uh, generous. First round pick, Brock Bozer, is a Calder candidate this season. He's skilled, big forward who can make tough plays at a quick pace and has a top tier shot. He's not incredibly quick, but his game off the puck has not been too shabby for a rookie. After Bozer, there isn't much here other than Adam Gadette. But the two of them provide a lot of value. Value, Defenseman Gilliam Brisebois is okay. And that's about it from that draft class. It could be worse, I guess. Hey, there's some years. Uh, it went over. There's, there's actually a fascinating article talking about just on the, 
on the, today about Pittsburgh and about how poorly them drafting defensemen has gone in the past few years. Yeah, one worked out okay for the Canucks, so we got Puglio out of it, so they haven't been yeah. too bad. So a few other people are apparently checking out the site. They say it now. <laughs> it's not the site that has a website about my flights. I don't know why that link like that. If you Google... <laughs> sure, no, you we Google, believe you. We believe you. You don't have to explain. <laughs> Google that team, and that was one of the... That's the link on the right side. I don't know why it came like that. And uh, Brian Label has shown up in the chat and says, Hello, how are you guys? Hey, Brian. I'm doing quite okay. How about yourself, Jeff? How are you feeling about how the season's going? Um, wait, did this say the season we're playing right now or the actual NHL season? <laughs> Everything. I'm doing reasonably well in this one other than uh, blowing the uh, Champions League. I should check on that and see how oh the first round is all over oh, is or the first playoff round is over looks like Davos advanced uh, Zug advanced as well and Zurich as well so we got three teams in the uh, quarterfinals of the Champions League so that's good for us uh, they can keep playing keep wearing themselves down while we catch up on the uh, Local standings. That's our job. Catch up in the local standings. Now, if you, if you don't follow a lot of European hockey, you might also be, or don't know a lot about Europe, which, you know, not everybody does. Um, you might not realize most of the teams uh, in the Swiss League, they don't really fly. Everybody buses. So that yeah, bus ride. Also... I they use the train as well. I'm not exactly sure, but I mean everything is relatively close together when you're looking at, say, a uh, two-hour train trip. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to fly. Yeah. And what's that tonight? Ratcast in the chat asks, if you play historical mode as a defunct team, can you extend their life or will they cease to exist as they did in real life? Nope, they'll uh, cease to exist at the same date they did in real life. You can't uh, keep going yet. We don't. We... Historical mode is strictly uh, historical expansion and contraction where it occurred. So if you're playing the Montreal Wanderers in 1917, you get one season and that's it. And BL coming up next, so we won that In one three nothing. In fairness, they are the Wanderers, so it's not like they should pass up. No, it's not really their fault. Their arena burned down in the middle of the season. <laughs> well, they let it burn down. They're just like, eh, what's the point? We just gave up. All right, so we have another question from Brian Labo in the chat. He says, question on tactic screen. Have you ever given thought to having the way having a way to way to giving ability to lock it players in roles and tactic roles so that it doesn't get reset each time you ask the AI to set lines. Yep, we've that's I specifically requested that last year when we were looking developing FHM four, but apparently there were a few difficulties with uh, getting it to work that way. I will probably try and work around that again uh, for five because it is kind of annoying after having to reset that. Yes. What we did add this year uh, was the ability to replace a player, and that makes it, you know, significantly easier um, if, if somebody just gone and hurt for a couple games. Yeah, but if you just want to swap one player in and out directly, you can, I'll show you in a second, you can just right click and uh, he will swap into every spot in the lineup that the other player is in. It's handy if you just need to do an injury replacement briefly. But yeah, it would be much better or if you, could, say, if you yeah. could, you know, even save a whole lineup and uh, just revert back yeah. to that uh, instead of having to reset uh, frequently. And Kempf is nearly back. 
uh, Rat Cass in the chat says, imagine the seals in 2017. I don't have to because they are called the San Jose Sharks. Yep, more or less. I mean, that's... I mean, they, where they became the Barons and then they merged in with the uh, North Stars at the time. And uh, then they sort of demerged when San Jose came back into the league. So they're sort of the old seals still. They pretty much are. And they've won just as many cups. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> wow. How many wow. cups have the Jets won again? <laughs> Jets haven't been around as long. And the Jets have championships, just not NHL championships. No, same with the Canucks. Canucks there, well, same with Vancouver at least. <laughs> Well, if you want I think the Canucks too, because the Canucks won when they were the Western League. Yeah, they won that a few, a few times. So, well, if you're going back that far, Winnipeg had the Vegas who won the Stanley Cup. Way and back, Vancouver when. had the Millionaires who won the Stanley Cup. Victoria had the Cougars who won the Stanley Cup more recently than either one of them. <laughs> <sighs> so it looks true. like we're getting our injury injured guys back now and we're still in relatively good shape here so I'm not uh, no real reason to shake up the roster uh, if we were doing poorly I'd look at uh, maybe trying to find a import free agent to uh, replace one of our guys but so far so good and you can see some of the ants all of our imports are starting to slow down and some of the younger players developing nicely. So I can shuffle the lineup around now a bit and get back to where we were. Excellent. And hopefully no more injuries for a while. And yeah, we've got still got a solid hold on uh, second in the league. Still would like to catch up with uh, Davos is there. Ideally sometime before Christmas because the uh, Champions League will be will run out by then and we'll all be playing the same schedule at that point. Next, uh, oh yeah, it's November 1st, so taking a little bit longer to process because it's the start of the month. But we'll be through that in a sec, and uh, it will autosave. Should autosave. Yeah, there we go. So, are you going to be uh, playing the uh, Florida game? A little farther ahead before the next one, or are we going to pick up with the uh, 2019 draft? I think it is. I don't know. That's that's the answer I can give you. I don't. <laughs> it's looking right now like it'll probably be next Wednesday. Yeah. But it's possible that might change. I actually had a Twitter pull up about possibly doing an earlier stream, but it was split 50-50, so. I chose not to do it. So we'll see. So we got Davos uh, today, or as soon as it hits the third. Uh, road game against them, so this will be tough, but if we can win one here, we might have a shot at climbing back up towards the top. And the owner's happy with us, no injury problems, so let's see what we can do here.
And they got a really hot goalie, so this may be tough. Uh, we can do we'll it. Play this one out. But nope, we open the scoring up uh, three minutes into the first, so one nothing for us. And this is on the road, so it's going to be even tougher. Momentum is leaning towards us a little bit. And we're actually outplaying them pretty badly. Ten foreign shots get near the end of the first. Well, that's a good thing, right? And two nothing. I'm doing surprisingly well against them here, and they're a red hot goalie. Mm, two one, halfway through the first, still out shooting them quite badly. So I'm not going to change anything up here. It's going too well. Oh, ah, geez. but then we just give one up on a breakaway. That hurts. What were you saying, oh, geez, too? Uh, well, as you may know, uh, during during these streams, there occasionally is there's NHL games being played when uh, we're streaming, and right now there has to be a Winnipeg Jets game going on. And as the Winnipeg Jets game's going on, I'm noticing they're in the second period, and the Jets were on a power play, a four-on-three power play. And uh, they took a too-many-men penalty on a power play. Nice. And we blew this one, by the way. Uh, wound up losing it four to two. Uh, they got ahead of us in the third, and then an empty netter, so even though we outshot them badly, uh, we wind up losing. Uh, and have you noticed in the question in the chat, uh, have you noticed in the highlight screen the shots are always on the same side of the ice? Yeah, I think that's set up so it's uh, always from the same perspective of the um, perspective of the offensive team. So that is disappointing, and hopefully we haven't fallen uh, out of second. Now we still got a couple of points up on the uh, third place team, but it looks like we're going to have a big problem catching Davos this season. And one more game tomorrow. Take a quick look at the Champions League as well, because I think that's been uh, continuing on as we've been doing this. There's Davos also losing at uh, Zurich, uh, out of Kalpa in the Finnish League, so at least one Swiss team is going to advance. Dubious for the other two, though. And Zug should be fairly tired, so I think we can get a win here. But no, we get shut out 3 to nothing. Starting to worry about, worry about our scoring a little bit. About our what, sir? Scoring a little bit. We're getting shut out quite a bit, it seems. i got to take a look at the uh, stats in a second once we advance to the next uh, day. I think maybe rotate the imports around a little bit, or... Uh, call some of the younger players up, because we're not getting many goals at all. Hmm. Probably all these ex-Canucks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Mason Raymond doesn't shock me. I'm sure he's been circling around the offensive zone like he always does and not actually doing anything with the puck. Burton's actually having a pretty uh, good year in, the, in Switzerland in real life this year. Andrew Abbott's leading the league in scoring in their first overall, so we're slightly uh, underperforming right now, even though we are in second. Hold the ball!
Well, again, looking at their team, they should be pretty good this year as well. Yeah. That's why they are rated as high. And our goaltending's been a little bit disappointing. Uh, uh, Janoni, the goalie in real life, has a goals against average is something like 1.75. Uh, it's ridiculous, and I don't think he's come anywhere near close to that uh, for us. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, especially at this point in the season. So I think we'll just get around to the next series of games and uh, play them and uh, getting close to the time where we have to wind it up here. A couple of things in the news to see. Hopefully nobody's injured. Uh, looks like there's an international game. One of our players, uh, Justin Kruger, was playing in it. Oh, actually, we've got two weeks, so maybe we won't be uh, playing a game, uh, one more game, because we've got another week to go until the next one. There's a little gap in the schedule there. Checking the Champions League. And Davos and Zug both lost out, but Zurich won, so they're still in it. Who'd Davos lose to? Uh, who is B? Oh, bring us from the Swedish league. Okay. So that's, yeah, pretty good team. Not that surprising. So what do we got? Uh, for Lunda and TPS, Finnish team, Swedish team, Swiss team, uh, Swedish team. So two Swedish teams left in the Champions League, one Swiss, one Finnish. And just to solve the standings here. We're, well, we got a game in hand, but we're only one point ahead of uh, the third place spot, so we got to shape up a little bit here. And I wanted to have a look at these stats before we go. Check the goalies first. Uh, Giannone's actually doing okay here. 2.05 goals against average. So. Not really his fault that we're not doing much, but I'm guessing the scoring is going to be kind of... Yeah, the scoring is not looking good. Uh, Raymond is doing okay. Ebbett is not doing well at all, though he was hurt for a little while. And uh, Arcabello also not so hot. I mean, they're leading the team in scoring, but the totals aren't that impressive, and our Swiss guys haven't really been doing that much either. So we need to get a little bit more secondary scoring... Uh, I don't think there's any options out there because it's the middle of the season as far as uh, import players go. A couple of Russians. Uh, Chris Kalanos is available, but two and a half stars. He's not going to really improve anything for us, so not a lot of good options For an import player, so that's probably out. So I think we're gonna have to wait until the off season before we make any free agent moves. Brad so, Cass says all Swedish and no Finnish. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start this, but I think we can uh, go ahead and wind down here if you wanna finish it up, and uh, we'll, we'll start off with the uh, games that are a week from now next uh, time. Sure, sounds good. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning into another Franchise Hockey Minute. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. You can find us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we're at Franchise Hockey. And uh, you can also find us on our official website, which is OOTPDevelopments.com, where you can come talk about Franchise Hockey Manager out of the park baseball or mlb manager or anything else you really want to discuss jeff did i miss anything uh no i think you covered pretty much everything uh was a question at the beginning of the chat if the sale was still on uh no the uh i guess uh black friday sale or whatever you want to call it or 
steam uh, fall sale ended uh, Monday morning. So the game is at regular price right now, but uh, as always, Steam will presumably be doing their Christmas sale. So if you're uh, looking to pick up the game uh, a little more cheaply, it will be it should be uh, available. Uh, that usually starts about a week or so before Christmas. But other than that, I think we will wrap it up for here. And uh, we'll just get the game around to the next day we're actually playing games. But we will be back to this in a couple of weeks. But next week it'll be back with Adam's uh, Florida Panthers game in 2019 or thereabouts. And hopefully starting to win a few more games than they have so far. So thanks for coming out. And <laughs> we'll see you next week.